everybody, Tap Tap here. So probably the number one source of questions on my videos uh, tends to be from new players who, you know, I've already answered questions, but they're in earlier videos and they just pop into, you know, the new event or whatever. So I thought it would be useful to have a little catch-up video that has all the, the little bits and pieces that you might have missed. Uh, and some of the common questions I tend to get so for how do you get any specific fish? The absolute best thing you can do is Just go to my website actually just google if you just google abyssrium It's pretty much the first result, but just sirtaptap.com. You can just pop in here. There's a little search bar uh, Let's search for the wahoo you click the little search thinger there. It works the site's great on desktop or on uh, mobile so yeah, it's It'll bring up all the different guides that mention that fish. So in this case, we want the uh, fusion fish guide. And we can go down here and be like, hey, we're gonna, I wanna get the thing. That's the efficiency list. Where did, oops. Using a mouse is, is what is going on? I think something's messed up with my, why is it going up? <laughs> I think something's messed up with my emulators like scrolling. But yeah, it's down here. So, um, yeah, the Wahoo. I think the Wahoo is like at the bottom. So, bad, bad example. But I should probably sort the hidden fish up to the top, honestly, now that I think about it. These are in the order that they're in in the game, which is also a reasonable order. But yeah, the guide really has pretty much everything. It's got a search, it's got, uh, it's got guides for games that are Abyssrium. Uh, it's got mini guides for every event. So pr pretty much any question, I would really start there, just in general. It's got, um, it's really just got a ton of stuff. So you can just go here to the complete Abyssrium guide and do all that stuff. But yeah, um, second question is like, how do you do like just general stuff? I get a lot of random questions about how you do things and stuff. That's also in the big guide. It's more than just hidden fish. So like, if you want to know the best way to get vitality, that tends to be in there. Um, I also have a video called Daily Vitality Ritual. Uh, I would point you to that one as well for kind of just general advancing in the main game. Um, <laughs> related, uh, sometimes people ask, why don't I make more videos or they beg me to make more videos? And generally the answer to that is, I have a video on pretty much everything. And even in this case, this is a video kind of rehashing stuff I already talked about, but uh, I have a playlist it's at the, shown at the end of every video I do on Abyssrium, and you can just go to my channel page and find that, or like I said, at the end of the video, there'll be a little playlist. I don't know why YouTube, YouTube hates playlists, and like, I love using playlists, and I love sorting all my videos into them, and then it just gives them so little prominence that people don't find them, and it's a shame. But yeah, I've got about 90 Abyssrium videos at this point, so, uh... Pretty exhaustive, I would say. Pretty exhaustive. Um, pretty exhausting, too. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's uh, over a year's worth of Abyssrium videos now. I've been I've been playing since August of 2016. Uh, or somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, I think August. Um, another common thing is that you did X to try to unlock hidden fish and it did not work. Uh, this game is buggy as heck. Honestly, Honestly, I think they were trying to make something entirely different from a game, and they just made it so buggly that it, it turned into a, it's a, a game, and they just accidentally released it, and it's just really the only reasonable explanation, because everything is buggy. But yeah, if you, if you do a thing and it doesn't seem to work, do the thing again, and then try closing the app and doing it again, and that usually it works and otherwise you know make make absolute sure you're doing it exactly right um, if there's any gotchas I'll note in the in the guide if there's some weird specific thing like you got to use the, the pink die or you know whatever uh, speaking of dies with, with events we're kind of segue into events here but um, the number one reason people don't get event hidden fish like this uh, pirate thing uh, number one reason people do what I what I say to do and they don't get it is because they don't equip the hidden dies or they're not hidden but so uh, the first thing you want to do anytime there's a new event you get an update your little icon changes to like a pirate or a spaceman or whatever it changes to you want to close the main menu here close that click this little painter palette scroll all the ding dang dong way down here and you got to get the pirate boson you gotta get, you gotta get, 
there'll be a th uh, these things are pretty cheap they're like 1000 currency max which is not too much and you need all three of these and just do not unequip them under no circumstance should you unequip these items until you have all the hidden fish because what tends to happen is that there'll be a hidden fish that it says it requires X, but it really requires Y. And while I'm making the guide, I'm not trying exactly X, I just leave all three of them on. And so inevitably, uh, one of their descriptions is wrong, and people read, oh, you need the costume, so I'll just, I don't like the die, so I'm gonna unequip it, and then they don't get the thing. And that's almost always why. So just equip all three of them. They're, they're permanent unlocks, they're fun to have, just buy them and wear them. You'll save yourself so much trouble. And a lot of candy in many cases. Uh, by the way, but the reason we call the event currency candy is simply because in the very first one, it was candy. It was Halloween candy. And then the next time, it was candy canes. So it's just, it tends to be called, we just tend to call it candy for the event currency. Uh, and another thing, how do you have so much event currency? Like, number one question I get asked. It's because it rolls over between events. Uh, they actually tried to go back on that, and that was huge backlash, and so it will always roll forward again, and unless they decide to be super consumer hostile again, which hopefully not, but yeah, it, it rolls over, and I make videos like this one that you're watching, so I like to have, you know, a lot of extra so I can rush through the event in one day and have a video as soon as possible, because otherwise people are like, how do I do this? Um, brings me to the next question, how do you do... How, people always ask how I finish the event so fast. A, because I, I, I store up so I do I can do the thing. And B, I, I make guides. I, I, I never quite understood why this question gets asked because like, I make guides to show you how to do the things. Like, what do you mean, how did I do the things? I just made a video to show you how to do the things. That's why I got them as fast as I could. That's why I showed you how to do them. I guess people like maybe ask like how I get my information and no I'm not elite hacks or um, they just tend to use a lot of very similar unlocks like there's always something for uh, watching se several ads there's always something for wearing the dyes and doing some menial task like creating certain fish or whatever they're fairly predictable um, and in fact in the Christmas event if you watch there's a live stream I did of the Christmas event and I actually discovered the very last hidden fish. That was really exciting on to do that on stream of all things. But yeah, I just figured there had to be a way to get this thing, and I got it. Uh, and then people also, the subreddit is very good at collating information. People share information, and that tends to be how, you know, I get information. That's what I do with information that I get. It's a, it's a big sharing thing. And that's why the hidden fish, I think, are really the best part of this game. It... It takes a single player game and it really makes a community experience because you're like, oh man, how do I how do I get the the sea chart manta ray? It's it's showing the managed fish, but I don't I don't know how to, know how to get it. So you look online, and people are like, oh, did you get did you get this thing? You got to do this, and it's just it's really fun. And so that's that's my favorite thing about the events. Honestly, I wish they would do an event that is like 100% hidden fish, and you just got to figure out everything. Like that would that's super fun for me. So like when this pirate event came out, I um, I rushed to download it and I avoided reading my inbox or anything because I just wanted to find out everything for myself that, that I could. And then after a couple hours, I was like, all right, I, I got to do the guide. So I looked on Reddit and they had pretty much every all of the rest of the info. And I still had to figure out how to get the Kraken exactly, but it wasn't too much harder than that. Um... So I actually didn't mean to talk about events before this other thing. I, I kind of went off script there, but whatever. Um, there's a couple of interesting tricks you can do for with the camera. So number one, you don't have to share images when it, the game tells you to share. All you have to do <coughs> is click a share button and then you just click back. The game does not track you. Uh, it does not, it's not allowed to track you. So the game can't actually tell if you've posted to Twitter. It just knows that you've made that intent to go to that other app. <coughs> and this is not just Abyssrian specific. If you play any mobile game, um, the thing that gives you like 50 gems for reviewing our game, uh, that'll never know if you actually review it. Um, just click that button and go back into the thing. You'll get the reward. Um, click the thing to share. And then just cancel back. You don't have to spam your friends. Um, so that's, you know, very good to know. I, some people have been playing the game for like a year, did not know that they didn't need to do that. So <laughs> I, I, that's a really good tip to know. Another trick with the camera, 
Also, to get to the camera, some very new players don't know how to get to the camera and think you can only use it with the photo quest. Um, but no, you just close the main menu, just like getting to the painter's palette. And you go in here. Um, another trick with the camera is that when you snap a picture, you can still move and pan around. This blew my mind at first. <laughs> but, so, what you can do with this is you can kind of line up a shot with a different fish. Say this... Say there was a different fish that was like moving too fast around. What you can do is just immediately take a photo, pan, pinch, zoom, whatever, focus on it, click retake photo, and just immediately take a photo again. So this is really useful for getting really specific picky shots for Instagram or whatever, um, or for visiting fish like the striped marlin and stuff. So that's very good to know. Uh, another question I get a lot is how do I play on PC? It's a thing called Knox at Player. That's why you hear mouse clicking sounds. It works for PC and Mac. One guy insisted that I was a liar that it plays on Mac, and I, I don't know what their problem was, but it literally says on their front page that it's for Mac, and there's a download link, and it gives you a, a, a Mac, like, DMG or whatever file. <laughs> it's like, a, I, I don't understand some people. Like, YouTube is a terrible place at some times, but mostly good. I... <laughs> I keep my comments clean, and some comments really make me shake my head, but it's honestly like one comment out of a hundred. It's just that I get a lot of comments on the, the Abyssrium stuff, so... <laughs> it, it, it does, you know, grind my gears a little bit, but most of y'all are good. It's just it's just that one percent that's like, oh my gosh. Like, this one guy called my hidden fish video clickbait, and it's like, but... But but it says what it is, and it tells you what, what it says, like, whoa? It's like... Like, that's like calling a dictionary clickbait because it's like, oh, you, you, you say that you define words and then you define all of the words? Wow. Wow. Nice BuzzFeed, buddy. It's like, what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Um, what else do I got on my list? Um, I guess that's pretty much it except for some expand feature stuff. So one of the common things is like, oh, how did you get this, like, dog thing or this, um, this fella here? These are from events. Uh, generally, if there's a fish... The thing is, these don't show up in the menu unless you've unlocked them. So, unlike the event fish, the, you don't know. There's, they're just invisible. But yeah, these these fellas, um, the octopus and stuff is from the Valentine's Day event, which we do not speak of. And um, this lion dog sculpture is, um, is uh, from the... Uh, what was it? The New Year's event. The mini event. The tiny bab event. Um, also, a pretty common question is how do I make this bridge? It's it's really quite simple. So what you do, you just you just make a wide rock and you just push it all the way to the edge until it stops being green. Which very uncolorblind friendly thing by the way. But you can tell by the check kind of bouncing if it's in place. It should really be like red and blue. Red and blue is a very safe combo for uh, color blindness, uh, at least for the very most, the most common ones by far. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how you do that. And you don't have to buy terrain. Like you can stretch off terrain, like you see here, uh, if you do that. So that's how most people build their very fancy stuff. Um, and there's another thing where you can make kind of floating stuff, which I have a video on that. Just search. Uh, Sir Tap Tap Abyssrium Floating Islands, and you'll find it. I, I honestly don't know if I could replicate it right now. It rem it's, it's finicky. L let me put it that way. There is a way you can do it. I already have a video on it. Um, I, I don't trust myself to demonstrate it right now. It, it is tricky. But yeah, that's that's most of the common questions. Um, also, another thing, if I make a hidden fish video. Uh, for an event or something, please trust that it has all that information there. Please actually watch the video before you ask questions. Um, for some reason, when I did the, the hidden fish video for the pirate event, I got like two dozen questions about how to unlock the Kraken. I tell you explicitly how to get the Kraken in that video. I, I don't know if people assumed... I, I don't understand, because like... I don't know if they were expecting the Kraken to be at the very start of the video, which would not make any sense because it's the final unlock, but... But it's it's in there. That was that was a little confusing, but yeah. D do trust that the thing that I say is in the video is in fact in the video. One time somebody asked, 
I made a video titled how to get the notification fish easy, uh, including the, the, the whale shark. And one of the comments was, could you please make a video for how to get the notification fish, specifically the whale shark? And I'm like, you best start believing in videos about the whale shark, because you're in one. <laughs> I, I don't know sometimes. But like I said, I, I, I don't, I'm not too mad at the comments. I, I 99% of comments are sane. And if somebody's like genuinely trolling, I, I tend, if somebody's genuinely trolling and just being a complete a-hole, uh, I do ban them, I do remove comments like that. I do remove firsts and stuff, please don't do that. Uh, I remove requests for shoutouts and dumb stuff like that. So always feel free to read the comments on my videos. Always feel free to chat and whatever. This, I know what people say about YouTube comments. And yes, I do get some YouTube comment style comments here on YouTube, but uh, I tend to trash those and, you know, keep it a nice place for non-awful people to say non-awful things. I think that's nice. I think it's nice to, you know, be able to see a video about a game and you get a scroll down and there's people talking about that game instead of, you know, their personal opinion about, you know, which races are inferior or, you know, stuff like that. I'd, I'd rather not have that on my videos personally, but, you know. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much it. Like I said, right at the end of this video, in just a few seconds, there's going to be a little end card that tells you that there's a playlist for all the other Abyss Dream videos. You can scroll through that, see what kind of stuff I got. Or, uh, I personally don't like video guides, actually, which is kind of funny, but, uh, I prefer the written guide myself, personally. It's just so much more concise. There's headings, so you can just jump straight down to the information you need. Um, you can use search and so forth. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I love. I noticed this. this get, the crab does the Guy Fieri thing when you grab the coin. I can't believe it took so long to figure that out. But yeah. So that's kind of a little refresher course or catch up course on Abyssrium. Um, hope that all helped.